let me make sh sure I'm uh, live on YouTube right now. Uh, Got to make sure the video and the audio sounds good here. Give me a quick sec. <clears throat> then we'll get started here. Alright. Let's see here. All right. All right, cool. All right, sweet. Okay. Alrighty, what's up, guys? Um, I'm going to be playing Bloodborne today. Um, I've already played this game before. I've beat it. I've beaten it. But <clears throat> I'm trying to. I'm going to play again. Kind of like a walkthrough of the game. Kind of blind because I haven't played this and um in a while so it's been a long time i'm gonna start from a new game um walk through it talk through some of the parts here uh let me oh see. yeah Pale blood. all right i don't care about that <clears throat> what should my name be uh i got it Damn, they're really gonna do me like that. Alright, uh. Nah. Actually, yeah, let's do that. Alright. What's his gender? Uh, he'll stay male. Let's see here. That's where you can hear the voices. Alright? Should be able to sample them. Never no, you can't. Fuck it, he's young. Milk toast. Um, what I would recommend it whenever you have to do this, when you have to pick the origin. Um, obviously your stats are are on the right there. Um, the way I like going about it is I'm more towards melee, so I usually go with military veteran. Or let me see what kind of compares to that. Uh, but you start with three, twenty, blood ten, ten, strength is fourteen. Um, I'd say violent past is actually that's actually really good. Hold on, violent past, military veteran ten ten for shit. You have less. Oh, okay, I see. Mm, I did military veteran last time, so I'm gonna do violent past. If you're hard, you'll do the waste of skin, because your stats are trash to begin with. But I'm not, so I'm gonna start there. Uh, let's see appearance. I'm gonna mess around with this guy here. Oh, okay. So you can... All right. It's mature. Uh, we're gonna make him. Uh... <clears throat> see burly. Make him, make him muscular physique. Okay, so just like myself. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Uh, I don't give a shit about that skin color. Which skin color? I think I know what I'm gonna do with the him. Let me see. Turn him into uh. God, can I do that? Oh shit, they got skin layers. What the fuck? Ah, fuck it. I'm gonna just leave them as is. I just need, I just need my boy to have some hair, though. Hair. Alright, hair. Oof. Yeah, I'm gonna do them like this. Hair color. Give him an anime ha hair color. Should do it green. Oh, he looking kind of fire right now. Okay. Uh, what should we do for his eyebrows? Okay. Ooh, okay. Let's make that green as well. 
He's looking kind of handsome right now. Okay. Should we give him a beard? Let's give him some greasy shit. Oh. Ooh, I'm, I'm digging that. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Yeah. I don't care about the rest. Boy, I wish I could. I might just. Well, let's see what we got here. Looking kind of lit right now. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to mess around. Um, but yeah, this part, I mean, just kind of make him look however you want. I don't want to waste too much time. So I'm going to just do it like that. Um, after that, you can save the favorites. I'm not going to. Uh, you should just be able to hit. Okay. Where, where, ah, God, where is that? Uh, I'm trying to remember exactly. It's been a while. I haven't played this, so. See, maybe if I go back. Okay, there it is. Finish. All right. Ah, the loading screen. Oof. All right. Chica, chica. Shit, long as hell. Alrighty, so this is <clears throat> the, obviously the beginning here. Uh, let me remember how to play here. Memory, da, 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 I don't care. I can't remember which way. Okay, so yeah, that is. Uh, let me see here. So, R2, L2. Okay, that's if I had a gun. Alright, so down here there's a wolf, it's like a wolf beast kind of thing, so the whole point of him is that he is going to pretty much kill you, so that you can um, go into the hunter's, hunter's nightmare, or the hunter's dream, and get your weapon choice, so R3 to lock on, okay, okay, I want to see if I can beat him with my bare hands right now. Oh, okay, he's only half-life. Interesting. What's up, dude? See my green bar stamina going down when I'm doing hits, obviously. Um, you, especially in this game, you really want to be wary that you're not using all your stamina up and that you're keeping an eye on uh, your stamina usage. Uh, you could be in a position where you're about to get hit and you can't really dodge because of the, uh, well, you have no stamina. So you don't want to put yourself in those positions. You always want to like keep an eye on your stamina bar. There's a green bar on the uh, on my uh, top left here. I can kill him on my own here. Oh, I'm not doing too bad. Kind of using up a lot of stamina there. Oh, shit, I might be able to kill that. Okay. Okay, I got his ass. <coughs> Well, if you're new to the game, he kills you, so... Okay. 
but um, also you can see in the top left corner there the uh, the red bar um, which is obviously your health and in this game your health obviously you know they hit you your health goes down but you have a chance a little window there where even when your health is down um, and you hit the opponent back you kind of hit them with the counter attack you will uh, be rewarded with some of your life back so this game pretty much rewards you if you're an aggressive player um, but let me see here see if I can go and pick my weapon here because I'm not going to fare well out there <clears throat> bitch where's the lamp dang hi Remy Gaming I'm exposing you for being a bully I mean, you have to be aggressive in this game. That's kind of the point of this. They made this one different than, uh, what you might call it, the Dark Souls games, where you kind of got to be a little bit more, uh, not as aggressive as this, um, as in Bloodborne. I'm just about to get this, looking for the lamp. I whooped his ass. I don't even think the lamp's going to show up. I, I swear to God, the lamp shows up right here. So I whooped my boy's ass, though, so maybe not... Oh, I got a blood box. I didn't even see that. What the hell? Where's the uh, the lamp here? There, big bro. You gotta get your ass killed. I guess. So, anyways, uh, let's go out here. Let's check this out here. Let's go uh, get murdered so I can get into the green pick up a weapon I might even start off with a different weapon than I'm used to just to kind of have a different kind of um, game experience this time what's up bitch oh, I'm about to whoop his ass too oh he got me I could have demonstrated there the old uh, be aggressive technique the energy little bitch psych bitch this big burn bro little bitch Bitch. Kinda going in on this nigga. Some head up shit. Damn. I did burn this over. Hey, it is what it is. Alright, just kill me. Alright, so I let him kill me there. Uh, he's gonna. I died, I get it, blah blah blah. Take me to the hunter's dream. This game is too fire. Oh, oh I thought I wasn't. Wait, wait, what? Oh, it's because I'm in a blocked. Okay, that's that's what I thought. Hold on, let me see. This stream is good here. Yeah, I know. I had to slip out, I guess. <laughs> Shit. Look at me, I had to slip out, bro. It won't happen again. Alrighty. So here are the messengers. Uh, they offer you, uh... They offer you a trick weapon. Choose one. Trick weapons are wielded with the right hand and employed in beast hunting. So usually when I play this game, I've used the hunter axe. I mean, I've used all these weapons, but first time I played around, I used the hunter axe, which I still think is the best of the weapons. The threaded cane, you kind of get more speed. Um, boy, I haven't started with the threaded cane, so I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna start the uh, the uh, threaded cane. No, I didn't beat Resident Evil 2. Not yet. I was gonna actually gonna stream that after this, but um, I just wanted to do kind of a, a little bit of a walkthrough. So the threaded cane. Uh, let me see here if I remember how to do this. Oop! Uh, I'm fucking around pressing buttons. Um. God, what was it? What button is that? So. Okay, so that toggles that. Circle is it? 
No, 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 no. It's no. Oh, okay. Duh. So the options button pulls up these options here. Uh, the arms portion is your this first two slots are your left arms. Um, or no, no, the first two slots are your right hand. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna put the threaded cane I got. Um, right hand weapon two. All I have is the threaded cane. Um, left hand weapon is a gun, which I am going to get now. So, so yeah. um. I've started with both before. I personally think the Hunter Pistol is better. Uh, the Hunter Pistol wastes less ammo, if I'm correct. And the shots are more precise, so it makes it easier to uh, get someone with a visceral attack. So I'm going to go with the pistol. Uh, a notebook received from the messengers. Just, uh, sure. Fuckers. So they're closed. Um, so this doll right here, the sex doll, is actually how you level up in the game. Um, you have blood echoes, you come back to her, level up. Right now she wanna play games and act like, uh, like she don't see me. Let me see here, so... Okay. So... L1 transforms your weapon, you can kinda see there, it's, uh... Well, it kind of looks like some blades coming out of there, stretching it out. Press L1, it turns into a straight cane. L1, turns it back. Um, hold R2 is a powerful movement. Powerful attack. Otherwise, it's just the standard R1. Um, <clears throat> now that I got a gun, I'm going to equip the gun as well with the... Right. So obviously the gun is self-explanatory shoots with the L2 now these tombstones here are kind of like uh, portals to different places where you can go obviously I haven't unlocked any of those yet so Yarnum headstone um, and then it kind of teleports you to a place where you've unlocked a, a little lamp but I didn't see that one so So somehow I didn't see that shit. Wait, what? Yeah, no, it's this way. All right. Are you? Then I'm very oh. sorry. I am Yusuke. Oh wait, wait, wait. I know. She gives you a vial. Yeah, she gives you. You. I don't know how to say the name, but a blood vial. I would recommend not using it, even though I think all it does is uh. Let me go into the invigorates the senses so it just restores your HP obviously I'm not gonna use that because as you can see there's um in the where it says number held there's one of one so there's only one throughout the game so I'd rather not even use it right now um so we'll talk more about inventory as I get more stuff here I'm just gonna go in uh well he running kind of slow my boy Oh, that's right. You hold circle to run. I haven't played this in so long, I forgot. So you hold circle to run. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, now I'm about to go tear these cheeks up on these guys out here. Yeah, he's trash. Search corpse, blood vial. Um, blood vial obviously just restores your HP. Blood vial. You will need a shit ton of blood vials in this game. He's not slick over there sleeping. I'm gonna kill his boy. His twin brother. Alright, bitch. I guess I'll show you a visceral attack once I get a chance here. He'll die before I do it. Oh. So, visceral attack is right when he's about to hit you. As he's about to shoot or uh, hit you with his weapon, you shoot him and he staggers. And you can get in close for a uh, R1 attack, which 
pretty much uh it's almost like uh what is it it's uh it, it's a really hard hitting attack it takes away a lot of their hp i guess is kind of what i'm trying to say it's a very strong attack Wait at that. So I got another lamp here, light lamp. Alright, bet. The lamp now transports you. Yep, it transports you to the hunter's dream. You'll awaken at this lamp upon death. So this will just teleport you to there. The more you unlock, the more places you're able to travel to. Um, that's a shortcut door, but obviously I guess I'm not there yet. Let me see. Pebble. Alrighty. Pebbles are only really useful when you want to throw them at them to get their attention. I'll try doing here. Alrighty. There's going to be two guys coming up here on my right. They're not slick. So, I guess to show you quick items. <clears throat> Use Pebble as a quick item. And I'm going to launch it at this guy to wake him up. That's really all they're good for. It's just when you want to get the attention of someone. And I'll show you a visual or not. He just tore me up. Alright, do it again. But don't hit me. Oh, yeah. Boy, if you do it again, bitch. Do it, you mother... There we go. You're up to it and you press R1. And it's a pretty pretty strong ass attack gets a lot of damage on these guys if you sneak up on them I'm actually gonna turn it back into a stray king you sneak up on them they won't hear you if you're quiet enough you can hold R2 it actually staggers them then you can do it this way it will give you, obviously give you more damage he had literally he, his HP was trash but <clears throat> there's gonna be some dudes coming up here they're not slick Unless they already passed. Oh, they're, they're up there. Okay. There's nothing down here except for uh, a big angry uh, assassin. Which I'm not going to fuck with because you can see him back there. He will mess me up. His hits are fucked. So I'm just keep strolling straight through here. I don't want to show a, a lot of uh, the grindier parts of this game, so um, my gameplays are probably just going to be more of me just showing how to get to place to place and whatnot. Uh, this boy right here sleeping. I'm going to throw a pebble at him, wake his ass up. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just fuck him up. Oof. Fuck it. And then with these guys, you get the quicksilver bullets, which is pretty nice. Hopefully they didn't see me there. There's gonna be a dude coming up right here on my right. He's not slick. Bloodstone. The bloodstones um, are what power up your weapons and bring them to the next level here. Uh, let me see here. Uh, they're not slick. I'm gonna s come straight through here. He's not slick either. There's a dude right up to my right right here. Yo, he actually almost got me. What the fuck is this? This task finished. If I remember correctly, there's no more guys hiding. It's just gonna be this dude straight up over here. What the? What the? L1 it to give it that. When you L1 the weapons, it usually gives them more strength as well. So, kind of giving it more damage here. You got some blood vials. If I remember, oh uh, no, I don't think I'm able to grab that. <clears throat> yes. Oh, they might get me, they might get me. Really able to 
get down to blood vials, sweet. Alright. Hmm, okay, sweet. I'm pretty sure these are Molotov cocktails, if I remember. No, some bullets, okay, fair enough. I'm not gonna go down there yet, because there's some guy down there with who has a... They kind of got him as a lookout, shooting anyone that goes inside over there. So I'm gonna take care of these guys so they don't sneak up on me. What's up, bitch? I'll mess up your brain. Boy, I am. I'm glad I'd never started with the threaded cane before. It is fucking trash. I guess this is a tutorial on why you shouldn't start with the threaded cane. It is just not as strong. And it doesn't have a better... Ah. Hold on here. Psych boy. Blood vial, all right. I'm gonna just take care of this guy here. Yeah, this this weapon is pretty tragic. Alrighty, it took the ass out. So pretty much everyone behind me that could do me harm is pretty much wiped out. Nah, okay. We'll just yeah, that's your come on. If you got the next door, I'm not away with you. Hey, you little bitch. All right, cool. I swear to God, there were some Molotovs around here somewhere. That's fine. I usually like to... Are you shitting me? guy up there on the cart there with that little gun he's got so I what I usually do is I speed in to get some attention and then I back off so so at least one guy follows me and then I just kind of pick them off like that although I could I could throw some pebbles here kind of see what it's like got you Come on, bitch. Are you a little bitch. Alright, someone who's got some balls, come over here. See, this dude got some balls, bro. There's no blocking in this game either, so uh, this game is you gotta be pretty quick. So you gotta be quick, and you gotta be able to dodge fast. Yeah, I know who's that fucking can get me there. There's a dog around here too, so... There he is. fall down and press R1 it kind of gives you a nice little attack on these guys here. Give me those bullets, boy. Alrighty. So, cold blood. Uh, you can see in the top right I have uh, just two little, uh, two little slots there. The top one has 1591 
which is the uh, uh, blood echoes, which are pretty much points for leveling up or buying um, merchandise in the game. And then the bottom is insight. So the more insight you have, the harder the game is. It's kind of how I've, how I've understood. You kind of get more things revealed to you the more insight you have into this world. So these crows are going to be over here. They're a pain in the ass. Here's some crazy bitch laughing in the background. Alrighty. Oil urn. Da, da, da. The oil urn I just picked up is really, really useful with the first boss here. Um, show you once I get there. Uh, right here, I'm carving out a, uh, a shortcut. Unfortunately, I have to kill these dogs here. I take out these good boys. Alright, boys. Alright. I'll go back up here. And going up here, you will run into the, uh, the gate. Earlier I tried opening that was like, oh, it doesn't open from here. So I'm gonna pick up this, yep. Pick that up. Those two fuckers, I'm not gonna even touch them right now. I'm just trying to open up this shortcut here. There's gonna be some dude here, he's not slick. Come on, boy. There's also another guy there, right in front of, or, yeah, like, kind of like where the item is. He's right here. He acts like he's sleeping, or he looks like he's dead, but he's not. He's, he, he's got a gun on him. So, might as well take care of him right now. He always ambushes you if you're not, uh, fast enough. But, search body, blood cocktail, alrighty. Uh, we, da, 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 I don't care about that. Alright. There's another dude here. He's not slick either. Alright. Uh, does he have anything? No, he does not. Alright. See what we can get here. Bloodstone shards. Alright, so here is the, uh... The shortcut I was talking about earlier. So now instead of having to go through this way to get all the way back to where I was, I'm just gonna go through here now. So I'm gonna go back to the uh, Hunter's Dream and show you uh, kind of the leveling up process and um, what I recommend you level up on first. Ah. <sighs> I wonder if I can do that right now. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I'm able to because I have to fucking fight the first boss, don't I? Fuck it, I'm already here. What should I purchase? These guys here sell you stuff, so. Based on the blood echoes I have there, which are on my top right, I got 2,052. Uh, blood of bile. I'll take some Molotovs. I will need them in the first boss fight anyway, so, I mean, why not have them? You can also, uh, once you get get more insight, I have zero right now, um, you can trade insight for items as well. Alrighty. You just see me fall back. Fall back on my ass. Alright. The loading screens are pretty fucked. But I just think it's because they have to, um... Because the people you killed come back to life, so... I mean, I think it's just kind of putting all those fuckers back in place. I don't know. 
Maybe not. But... It still doesn't have anything. I kind of want to kill these guys. Uh, but uh, it's not really going to be worth it right now. I'm running past his ass. Yeah, it's not really worth it right now, especially since I can't level up anyways. All these dogs are alive again, though, so I have to kill the good boys once more. There's one. There's two loose, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry, bro. Take this boy out. You're ending the suffering, if you really think about it. Oh. And there's good there's another one here. Yeah, there you are, you little bitch. Alrighty, cold blood do. Cool, cool, cool. Uh you oh shit, I didn't even see this dude over here. So I mean you can decide to talk to the people in these houses. Um I don't. There is one little girl here that gives you a, a pretty good item that's useful. A music box for a later boss. But, um, I mean, I don't really need it. I'd rather show you how to beat that box anyways without it than, than with it. So, I could go down the steps, but there's some stuff I'm going to get around here. So. Make some noise, let them know I'm here. But there's some lady out here. I don't remember her name. She's like a crow. She's pretty cool. Oh. A hunter, are you? And an outsider? Hell what yeah. What a mess you've been caught up in. Here. To welcome the new hunter. Okay, so the bold hunter's Prepare mark. Yours. Sweet, sweet, sweet. No Alright, sh shut up. I'm talking now. So, the bold hunter's mark. I'm gonna actually put that in, uh... The bottom slot here, quick items. Are... Which you can use offhand, and you can actually see the quick items on right under my stamina bar, that big square there. I'm gonna go ahead and add a uh, hunter's bold hunter's mark, uh, and I'm going to add the molotovs and the oil urns. So I'm actually, I think I might go a different way just so I can get the first boss out of the way. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. But I think I might be fucked. I don't think I can go back up. Just, just stroll back up. So fuck it. I'm gonna just get everything around here first. Uh, da da da. Cold blood. This thing might be useful if I use it like this, though. So I don't fall oh, there. Perfect. Okay. So useful. And those are weapons, by the way. One of them is a, a saw cleaver. I don't remember what the other thing is, but one is a saw cleaver, which I'm going to definitely have to upgrade to because this weapon is fucked. Third cane is absolute trash. I'm just trying to pick a good jumping point here. Let me see. I swear to God, there's a better point I can jump to, but no. Ah, I swear to God, if I jump down there, I'll fucking die, though. I really can't go- Wait, no, what? Wait, can I? Oh, my God. Shit, yeah. Shit hoes, I guess I gotta... Take a risk here. I don't remember what's over here, but... Maybe if I do a little roll with my jump... Follow me up here. I'm gonna fuck him up up here. Don't really want any of his boys seeing me, uh. What's up, bitch? I wonder if I can get a quick visceral. He's pretty quick. So nice if you look at his life. Pretty much just destroyed him right there in a the one shot. That visceral attack. Pick up some blood vials. I know there's another dude out here like that, and there's also a, a they got a shooter out here, so where that bitch is at. I think he's another side. I'm at. actually going to run off. Oh, never mind. I'll R1 him as well. 
almost all of it. But then it's pretty easy to finish them off like that. The corpse has got oil urns. That's not me, Mark. There's no pausing in this game either, so which I totally forgot about. Part of me kind of wants to go down here because I will be able to pick up uh, some weapons, but those goddamn rats. see those rats there ah damn it I hate jumping with the rats they will viciously attack you so uh, I wonder I might try throwing a molotov I swear to god though if I throw that molotov I'm gonna fall I didn't even get them okay that's fine but now they're aware I'm there so I know there's a, there's a, one of those cracks where the rats aren't in it. I think that's where I'm going to jump off to. Perfect. Right there. Yep. There it is. Do that in a little little circle roll there. Kind of saves you some life. I'm actually going to run up on this boy. There's two over here. We just saw. I'm definitely gonna say screw you and throw a Molotov at you and not hit you, of course. Oh, don't fall in there. So let's see. Okay, so that body, I th one of them has two Bloodstone shards. So the other one has a. God damn it. The other one. Son of a bitch, the other one has a saw cleaver or the saw blade or something like that. But I'm fucked now because I cannot... They don't have a ladder if I remember correctly, so yeah, I'm pretty fucked. Throwing knife. Yay. Might as well use the throwing knife here, so I'll go to my quick items. Add the throwing knife. Press down on the D-pad to switch through the uh, quick items you want to use. I'm going to pick throwing knife throw that at that rat. Whoa, damn, that did some damage. That did some damage, boy. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Just killed that rat bastard. Get your little dumbass. I'm about to fuck him up. So if I do a fall, if I fall, or, yeah, if I fall on him and press R1 at the same time, should do an attack. I don't think I did it there, though. It didn't look right. don't remember what this is madman so madman's knowledge is actually you can consume those and they turn into insight which like i said earlier you can um uh, with insight you can trade those for items or you can just uh ingest them and i mean it kind of just makes the game harder really you can see some cool stuff though if you have enough insight um I kind of screwed up there because, boy, I know damn well there's a shooter here, and there's there's a ton of guys up here. So, yep, there he is. But that's fine because I can at least. What the fuck? He jumped down here! Give me that saw spear, bitch. I'm out. Fuck y'all. So I could be fucked right now. Well, 
gotta be pretty fast right now. I'm just trying to think. Think quick here, boys. So I got rid of this guy. Got rid of that other guy. Okay. Boy, they crept up on me fast, though. Yep, he's right there. So he, his ass just saw me. For some reason, he's not coming after me. Alrighty, cool, cool, cool. That was... Damn it. Okay. Well, I just got a new weapon, though, so I'm going to use it. I killed this jerk. Fuck you, bitch! So in the options menu and arms right next to my thread cane, I'm going to go ahead and add the uh, saw spear. And as you can see, I got the saw spear now. Which I haven't used before if I remember correctly. I might have used it like once or twice when I when I got it just for shits and giggles, but I never actually went ahead and used it, so let's see here. I'm gonna stop here in a bit. I mean, it's already doing more damage than the first thing. Not a huge fan of this either, but I'm gonna give it a little bit more time to get hard to take it some more. Any further, I should say. You're not slick, boy. There should be another guy here. Unless it was that guy that followed. Nope. Oh no, those are just the crows there. Go fuck the crows up. Cool, so they're blocking some oil urns. Uh, let me see here. That's if I went through the other way on the tunnel. Uh, will I jump here? No, I think I'm gonna go ahead, take a different route, so I can go fight the first boss. So this route here is kinda, if you're, um, to go to the second boss of the game. Which, technically, I would consider him the first boss, because the first boss you face in this game is kind of a joke. So, he's really more of a tutorial, how-to kind of boss. The second one is where shit gets real, and, uh... Yeah, you'll see when we get there, but right now, I'm going to doo -doo -doo, just go up here. I already fucked everyone up down there anyways. I spared you, boy. Boy. You know what, just for shits and giggles, let's see if I can kill any of these guys down here. These rock fuckers. I'm gonna use a blood vial though. Alright, bitch. So, the good thing about these guys... Is... They're pretty... Holy shit, he almost got me. You know what, I might die tonight. Okay. Lucky one. Come here, bitch. He's big. My brother gotta come with me, bro. So, luckily I was able to visceral him. They're easy to visceral. The only hard part is when more of them come at you. When it's like more than one. Leave, bro. Oh, uh, so... What? I'm just showing the people how to kill you. Don't get butt hurt. real bad. It's a miracle I'm not dead. Alright, so, so yeah, so right before they hit me, I shoot them, get close, press R1, and that gets that dope ass visceral attack there. Boom. He's done. Shining coins, which if I remember correctly, the shining coins don't even do anything, like, at all. So I'm just gonna go up here. Uh, yes, 
so I'm gonna go back to the hunter's dream. I'm gonna end the stream in a sec here once I save. Um, but when I do part two, I'm gonna go fight the first boss. Kind of show you how to face the first boss here. I'll be showing you how to level up and a little bit more on about the uh, the attire here, the importance of the clothing. Uh, for those who don't know, but other than that, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.